Hi, it's Kana. Welcome back to my closet. I know I look a little weird today. Uh, that is because we're doing a little video with the Sabrina and NYX collab. It's the Netflix Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Part 3 collab with NYX Cosmetics. In addition to the palette, I got one of the lip kits and I got this one is the Weird Sisters. These are not new shades, they're just in limited edition packaging. Uh, but I'm trying to remember what shades these are. Oh, okay. Transylvania, which is obviously the dark one, and this one is Los Angeles, which is very fitting because that's where I'm from. Anyway, we'll get back to these. We're going to play in here first because this needs to be handled. Oh, and also my hair is a little crazy. So that's what we're dealing with today. So here is the palette and then you open it up and that's what it looks like. So it has this really cute little graphic over here and then these are all the shades. It's probably really bright in here so over here is probably better. So they all have cute little names that have to do with the show. We have Salem over here. We have, um, well, this one's Harvey. This is Nick Scratch. This is Caliban. Um, Mortal's Delight. Uh, let's see. Blood Earth. I'm really liking Mortuary over here. I'm kind of loving this section. So it's like Mortuary, Eternal Bliss, Unholy Union, and Ambrose in that direction. I like Limbo. I mean, they're all really pretty. So I need to do an eye look. So um, yeah, the only thing I will say is the packaging is super cute. Oh, also I want to say, I did not want this. I didn't, I was fine. I looked online. I kind of did. I, cut, I wanted to look at it. I looked online uh, at their website and it was sold out and I was like, okay, cool. I don't need it didn't want it anyway, right? Train, ignore it. Um, and then I went into Ulta for something else and I saw it and I bought it. I mean, I'm like a packaging person, you know, and I just think it's really cool. I love special editions. I love collabs. So I grabbed it. Did I need it? No, <laughs> but I like it. So, but the only thing too is like, it doesn't fold back and that is not my favorite. So it's just going to have to sit here. I'll work from there. So let's get going. I think I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, I have um, P. Louise base on, but I think I'm going to just set a little bit up top and I'm going to stick to the cool tones for obvious reasons. So I'm going to take this, what is this? Oh, right, right, right. Malum Malice. This one here. Uh, that one is, I remember that was from the first season. So that was the one with the apple where she ate the apple from the one tree, the Malum Malice and like had the vision and whatever. So I do remember that. I have a mirror in front of me. I may have to pick up a different one because I'm blind. I'm just going to grab this little mirror that I have. But uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm only through season one, but I'm super excited to get into the rest of it. I'm not through the whole thing either. So like, oh, tap, tap, tap. So don't spoil it for me. Don't, don't spoil it in the comments, please. I will say it's a little bit powdery, but I not, it's not a complaint. Um, I kind of like that. You barely just have to tap in and that's usually a good sign for me with eyeshadow. So I kind of like that already. So yeah, I'm, I'm not mad at that.
So I'm gonna dip into this pink color here, Mortuary. It's kind of a mauve. I'm gonna try to keep that lower in the crease. tuck it in there. Ooh, she pretty. I feel like it's too light. Let me just turn it down a little bit. Okay. I really like this color. I think that that one really blended into the other one nicely. It's beautiful. Okay, so Truth Cake is this very light one right here. I might actually use that to kind of soften up the edges over here because it went a little crazy. So I'm gonna dip in with my blending brush. I actually don't need the mirror, it's fine and just kind of try to hit the edges. Good enough. I'm gonna use Unholy Union and I'm gonna put that on the outside. I like that. That is a beautiful color. I'm super impressed with this palette, I'm not gonna lie. So far. I'm gonna take it into the middle very carefully. Probably need this mirror for that. I'm gonna bring it over from the outside a little bit more. Okay, so because my eyes are so hooded, I'm not actually gonna close the gap. I'm gonna leave it open and it'll create the illusion of more space. That's just something I've learned playing with my particular eyes. Trying different things, seeing what works. Cause hooded eyes are different for everyone. You know, there's different kinds, there's different, like some are worse, like not worse. I don't wanna say worse. Some are more hooded than others. So you kind of, even if you follow these hooded lid tutorials, you kind of do still have to just figure it out for yourself. So, but this is something I've learned with mine. I go a lot higher for one, 
you probably noticed. So, okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Angle of the brush matters a lot too. So if I don't want it to like get too far up, I go straight in or like kind of down. Helps a lot. Okay. Just, I said one more, but I feel like I need some more in the outer. Okay, so here's the scary part. Let's check for fallout. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I am so impressed. Uh, there is zero fallout right now. Do you see this face? I am in disbelief because it's a little bit powdery in a great way and um, there's still no fallout because sometimes I like these kind of more on the it's not dry it's just a little powdery um, not as bad as like an Anastasia formula but um, a little bit like that but there's like zero fallout I'm loving this amazing okay next we're gonna go in with Sweet 16 because it's nice and light and this is after all a spotlight so hmm is that bright enough yeah we're good we'll, we'll do this We need a little blending. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over. I'm first gonna go oh god I'm so tempted I can't decide y'all I'm doing Ambrose I'm changing it up I keep changing my mind but it's fun it's like it's kind of cool because I'm looking at it and I'm putting the makeup on and the uh, shadow on and I'm like, I think I'm going one way and then I look at the palette and it kind of inspires me to go a different direction and I'm not mad about that. I'm going to just dig that in there a little bit. Try not to get this everywhere because this could be a mess. Yeah, that's pretty. How's that? I think it's good.
going in with cunning, the silver. Yeah, I like that a little better. All right, what do we think? I'm pretty happy with that. So lower lash line time. I did my eyeliner with the uh, Urban Decay Alkaline. Love that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the lower lash line. I'm gonna do um, Mortal's Delight, this like purpley one here. Really pretty. Oh, yes. I take what's left over and kind of take it over here a little bit. I could do a little wrap around. I don't want to go too much because I want it to, I don't want it to cause like a droop situation, but yes, this is such a pretty color. Oh my God. Okay, now I'm gonna do my lashes and we'll be back for the lips. All right, I'm back and um, I put some lashes on, which I'm really proud of myself because I suck at it. I don't know, it's not that I suck at it, I've just not really ever done it that much. I think I've only successfully gotten them on one time and that video got scrapped because I didn't like the rest of my makeup, so lashes um i love these ones these are lashaholic luxury lashes they are in instaglam <laughs> but yeah they just ready set get addicted yeah so i forgot about blush um and i'm looking in here and i want i want nick scratch right here that's the one I want. I think it's the best one because the peachy one, the Harvey, I love those colors. The orangey blushes are so amazing, but this is not that look. So let me find a brush. Just picking a little up. Gonna tap. I'm gonna just check the pigmentation because I don't want a giant pink spot on my face. Ooh, that's subtle. I like that. I like to bring my blush pretty high because it tends to give me more lift and not make me look like if I put it down too low or if you do this, it drops and then you just, it makes you look older. I don't need that. I am older. So <laughs> I love to just kind of push it in right up around here. I love like the Biba makeup deal. So that's kind of just my go-to with blush anyway. And I like to bring it up a little, wrap it around a little. Just my thing. That is pretty. That blended so nicely. It's pigmented, but it's not like overly pigmented. So yeah, I like this. Yes. Okay, let me just get up in there. I feel like I, no, I'm good. Oh, she's pretty. 
Now what happens is I just go overboard and I can't stop myself, so. <laughs> Let's see. What is that? I think it's just a dent in my head. Okay, I like her. Or him. It's Nick Scratch. I'm just going to do a little bit more over here because I'm a blush whore. And I love it. she's pretty I love this okay I do want to add a little more highlighter because I feel like I just kind of pushed it all away so I'm gonna use my lime crime highlight mermaids palette and I'm going in with more of this blue I can find my highlighter brush uh, cause that's what I already had on. So let's just do a little more. Somebody wrote in a comment, keep your nose highlights on YouTube. Well, I am obliging you. Here it is. <laughs> Enjoy. I sadly must inform you, however, that I will be taking this out into the real world and rocking it. So sorry about that. Sorry, not sorry. Ooh, shit. I like this palette. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's just a little... Wrap that around a bit. I like a little lip highlight too. Okay, what do y'all think? I think it's finally time for lipstick. This is what the packaging looks like. They're adorable. They're like little kitty cat faces and hearts with like the um, flames coming up off of them. So let's see what we can do with these. I'm not sure where I want to go with it. I was thinking I might ombre them. But now I'm like, maybe just the nude. What do y'all think? Oh, she's pretty. That's pretty too. I think I'm going to do this one first. And if I need to add anything to it, I will. This is my first time trying these. They're the soft matte lip creams. Ooh, I know. I like to do this thing where I just put them in the middle, like the darker colors. So let's do that. Okay, I am back with the finished look, like the whole finished look. Um, yeah, I really love it. Um, super pleasantly surprised by this eyeshadow palette. It's actually really beautiful. Um, I love this. So, like I said, I've only really played with these kind of like mauve purple pinks but it's so pretty oh my gosh oh and the silver I love the silver and well this is pink but yeah the silver is really pretty that's what's on the inner corner um this looks like it's gonna be a really pretty duochrome you know I love my orange gold duochromes 
Um, but anyway, this blush is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. Uh, love. So I have to tell you, like, when I bought this, I thought I was buying it for the collectorness of it. I'm just like, it's cute. I'll put it on a shelf. I'll look at it. It's cute. Um, it was $35, by the way, in case I didn't mention that. So it wasn't like cheap, but it's a big palette, which usually I don't like, but this one really did kind of inspire creativity in me. I really enjoyed using it. Um, the shadows that I did use were beautiful. So yeah, I didn't expect to love this, but I totally do. I'm gonna be wearing this probably for Valentine's Day. It's so, so, so pretty. I love this look I did today. Uh, the lipsticks are like such a perfect pairing for this look. I think um, they're really great together. They feel like they've dried down completely, but they're not like tight or gross feeling. Uh, they don't look crazy. I love these. So I threw away a bunch of old NYX liquid suede lipsticks. And so I don't feel too bad about picking these up. They're much better. I will say that. So yeah, I'm really excited about these. I love, love, love the cute little decoration on them. Love it. If you guys were thinking about picking this up, it's cute. It works. I really do love it. I'm happy to have it in my collection. And I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I really do like this one though. I'm not, like I said, I'm not telling you to go buy it. I'm not saying it's the best eyeshadow palette there is, but I like it a lot. So there's that for what it's worth. Anyway, I had a lot of fun with it. So that's going to be everything for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're impressed that I was able to actually put on some false lashes, give me a thumbs up. If you love the palette, give it a thumbs up. You know, if you like the lippies, like if you like the look, let me know. Tell me what you did like, what you didn't like, what you thought down in the comments below. I love talking to you guys. And that's going to be everything. I will see y'all later. Bye.